Classical theory of interest rate. How is equilibrium interest rate in the classical system determined? There are people who are lending and there are people who are borrowing, right? The rate at which the amount of funds individuals who are desiring to lend is equal to the amount of funds which individuals are desiring to borrow, right? So when that rate is equal, then that's such a rate at which the amount of funds which individuals are desiring to lend is equal to the amount of the funds which individuals are desiring to borrow. That rate is the equilibrium interest rate. Oh, fine. There are people who are borrowing and there are people who are lending. Who are borrowing what and who are lending what? So when you when you talk about the classical system and in terms of borrowing, what do we mean? We mean people who are selling bonds. So for example, there is a government. Government will sell bonds to the public. Public in return will give money to the government, right? So government is the borrower of money and seller of bonds. Public is the lender of money to the government and purchaser of bonds, right? So the people who sell bonds, they are borrowers and the people who purchase bonds are lenders. So what does that mean? The factors which are going to affect the borrowing and lending is also are going to determine the interest rate because interest rate is dependent upon borrowing and lending. So the factors which affect borrowing and lending will also affect the demand and supply, uh, sorry, will also affect the interest rate. Now, talking about the suppliers and suppliers of the bonds and the and the purchases of the bonds. There are two suppliers of the bonds. One is firm, another is government. As far as government is concerned, we'll assume that the ex, there is an exogenous supply of bonds by the government, right? So it is given to you. It is not changing nothing. As far as firms are concerned, so for the firms. What you will say? You will say that firms they are they are selling bonds, and why are they selling bonds? Because they borrow. They want to borrow money for investment. That's right. They want to invest in certain projects, and in order to invest in certain projects, they have to borrow money. Now, when they have to invest in certain projects, that investment is dependent upon certain things. One is the expected profitability of the projects. Uh, we'll be talking about in detail in investment uh, in, in the later part of the course. But right now, just understand this. Investment is dependent upon two things. Primarily only one thing, which is interest rate. But it, let's say it is dependent upon two things. One is your expected profitability. So in case if profitability is high, okay, you want to invest in that project, right? So, but we are assuming that in uh, this expected profitability is given, it is not changing. So the only thing which is dependent upon interest rate, right? Uh, investment is dependent upon right now is the interest rate, right? So if interest rate is high, it means that cost of borrowing is high. Your investment demand would be less, right? If interest rate is less, cost of borrowing is high. Your investment demand is, sorry, if interest rate is less, cost of borrowing is is less so investment demand is high so there is a negative relationship between investment and interest rate i'm again repeating if there is an if there is a higher interest rate right so this higher interest rate will lead to high cost of borrowing right with this high cost of borrowing you can't invest much so investment is lesser when interest rate is low 